Hi folks, Bob Krebs, sales manager with Pure Pursuit Automotive, and I've got tonight uh, our newest acquisition, this 2013 Range Rover Evo. This is an absolutely beautiful black vehicle uh, with tan interior and exterior silver highlights. And I wanna start off by showing you the front of the vehicle and the engine compartment first. This is a 2.0 liter aluminum turbo engine that is very high functioning and uh, very efficient as well. Uh, again, we've got the silver highlights here and of course the distinct Land Rover badging with the black that matches the outer paint on the body style in the front, the grill with the matte black, and again the silver as well here. Perfectly functional LED headlights that uh, again are highly reflective and perfect for uh, um, all driving situations. It's also got assistive lighting here in that when you make a turn to the right or to the left, the light automatically switches direction to aid you in uh, making your turn. Next portion of the vehicle, we're gonna look at the wheels and tires here. We've got uh, 19 inch alloy silver wheels here with uh, tires by Cooper. Here's the interior of the vehicle, which has got beautiful dark uh, brown colors with uh, accentuated uh, tan highlights as well. And again, mid tan seats with lighter tan interior. In the back, very roomy area back here for your passengers, again with the uh, darker carpeting, the darker tan here, and of course the lighter tan. Moving to the back, again the, you've got the, uh, the silver accent at the bottom, some of the matte black, and of course the other uh, features of the, of the back of the, the vehicle here. Uh, we've got the uh, storage area back here, and then of course you've got uh, the area back here that we've got our mats here stored. And then of course you've got the underside here, which has got a uh, full size tire to be able to be used. So it's temporary use, but it is uh, the large size, not the small donut. This has also got uh, this uh, uh, shelf that as the uh, vehicle hatch closes, the shelf comes down so that you've got a cover in the back here that protects uh, the interior of the vehicle from ultraviolet ways and also rays and helps it keep uh, cooler as well. And then you've got the uh, closing device here. Once you press that, it will automatically close the vehicle itself. And of course, you've got the back lights here and you've got the camera that gives you the rear view, which we'll see later during the drive through where that enables you to uh, see your, as you're back in the vehicle. Well, the vehicle is warmed up now and uh, let's go ahead and start it up and see how it sounds. I'm going to be giving you uh, an inside tour of the vehicle before we take it out for the test drive tonight. And I'm going to go out and start off with uh, how the vehicle has started to begin with. Uh, it has a proximity key system where in this case I have the key in my pocket. Uh, and once you're in close proximity to the front of the vehicle here in the uh, cockpit, you're going to touch the brake with your foot, hit the start button, give it a little gas, and it fires right up. Uh, in this particular case, uh, this gives you the assurance that uh, no one's going to be able to take off with the vehicle without the key being in close proximity. And if the vehicle does take off without the key inside of it, the driver is going to get a warning that they're about to run out of the area that the key is, uh, is connected to. So uh, another built-in safety feature. Let's go ahead and start off with the gauges here of the Range Rover. Uh, you've got a well-lit array of gauges here, which gives you a lot of information. Uh, the uh, speedometer on the left here, tachometer on the right, and in the center, all of the information on the vehicle. Right now, it's displaying the uh, temperature of the uh, 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 vehicle itself. And then on the right, you've got the uh, fuel gauge. Uh, this information is accessible on the right side of the steering wheel here by getting the menu set up. And in this particular case, you can see the vehicle set up, trip computer, display settings, etc. And of course, you can go back to, to whatever uh, options that you need by setting up the vehicle to, to whatever you desire. So it's got a lot of uh, options on it as far as what you're able to do with the vehicle. Uh, it's got dual controls in that you can utilize the steering wheel for just as many options as you can the center console. And the reason for that is so the driver doesn't have to take his, his or her hands off the wheel to be able to access the radio, the phone, Bluetooth, or the navigation system. So it's a very, very simple process. Um, on the steering wheel itself, again, it's got redundant controls. You got your phone feature. You've also got uh, the hands-free. Then you've got your uh, cruise control setting to, to set it, resume, or to cruise. On this particular side, this little uh, button 
enables you to turn the hearing, steering wheel heat on, which is fantastic during the winter, particularly if you don't happen to have gloves, or even if you do have gloves, it heats the steering wheel up, and it's a really nice, warm uh, feeling once you get in the vehicle. So uh, I'm going to move to the uh, center console here now. First of all, I'm going to start with the uh, onboard computer, which gives you several different options. And again, you've got audio, audio settings, additional features. But most time, uh, people are going to be using these three, which are the, the uh, audio video portion of it, which in this case, if you press that, it's going to either let you use the DVD or the radio and be able to set the radio to whatever you decide to set the radio to. And then your, your volume control is here. It's got an excellent stereo system by Meridian. And then once you're done with that, you can hit the back button. And you're able to go to, let's say in this case, the off-road navigation. This tells you exactly where you're at and allows you to enter routes uh, once you've subscribed to the service uh, to track your movements and or uh, give yourself a, uh, a road map to wherever you decide that you want to go. So again, it's got uh, several different uh, options. If you've got your phone option as well and uh, to where you can go with uh, your iPhone connected or whoever's uh, whoever's phone you decide. In this case, uh, the last person with Kenneth's phone that was connected to this. So in that case, again, it offers you a lot of options for it. So uh, the next portion of this is going to be your CD player here where you've got uh, very easy, you, you insert it, and then you've got your, your forward, backward, and of course eject. Uh, the next portion are some other creature comforts here. In this case, you've got the seat heat for the driver's seat, seat heat for the passenger seat. You've also got dual controls for the driver or the passenger to set their own heat controls. If the, uh, let's say the uh, male is driving the vehicle and is, uh, is uh, too hot, he can turn it down to wherever he wants. And if, let's say, the female pasture or another male pasture on this side, besides they're freezing, they can turn that up on their side. And then this also gives you the option to put it on uh, just a vent coming out of the top alone, vent coming out of the feet alone, or you can have the, uh, a combination of both. It also has the front uh, defrost, and of course the rear defrost as well. Automatic uh, air or manual circulation on the vehicle too. Uh, it also offers steep incline uh, abilities to where when you press this, you'll see that the vehicle is uh, automatically uh, instructed that your vehicle is getting ready to go down a steep hill and it uh, so engages the transmission and the drive shaft as well to prepare for that. Uh, that can also be taken off. And of course, you've got the anti-skid control here. In this particular case, you can take it on or off, and it gives you the option of uh, having the vehicle to where it's uh, not going to break the, the uh, tires loose. It is a four-wheel drive vehicle, and uh, being such, you can use it in all kinds of conditions. If you take a look here, these are the types of conditions that you can set it for. Uh, the second one over here, as it progresses, you'll see this is particularly for grass, gravel, and snow. The next one over is going to be for mud or ruts. The next one over is going to be for sand uh, or the desert, uh, areas like that. So again, it gives you a wide array of uh, uh, modes that you can choose to drive your vehicle in. It also has a beverage holder and a, uh, an AC uh, current outlet as well. So you can plug any of your, your uh, devices into that. And the center console holds essentially the same. You've got a iPod connector, USB, and of course the same 12 volt auxiliary outlet as well. And it's a storage facility for anything else you might decide to put in there, sunglasses or maps. The next portion is going to be the controls on the seat. They're down on the sides of the seat and as you can see you've got forward, backward, and then the seat back and the seat forward as well. You, there's a myriad of different positions you can put in. It also has memory here for three different settings. So if you've got a tall person a medium person or maybe a very short statured person, uh, you can set that so that each time that particular person is driving or if a different person is driving it, you can set that particularly, particular memory setting for that person. Of course, you've got your mirror controls here to be able to turn your mirrors and function those, the left or the right, driver's side and passenger. And of course, taking the window down, you've got your automatic uh, power windows for down and up, and you've got control of both the front uh, driver, passenger, and the rear passengers control from up here. Got your Meridian speaker system up front and the back as well. And of course you've got a six different location airbag uh, system which is uh, offers protection as well as the airbag that is uh, front for the driver and an airbag for the passenger as well. 
So we've already got the engine warmed up, ready to go. Everything's set, so we're going to go ahead and take off. Uh, as you can tell from the rear backup camera, I've got, uh, I've got a full view of what I'm backing up into. Uh, it also gives you kind of a little bit of a track to follow so that you, you know where you need to head as you're backing. So, uh, again, this is only used as an adjunct. It's certainly never intended to be the only thing that you utilize. So I utilize both of my mirrors and I utilize this as well as I'm backing. So we'll go ahead and back out of here and head out on the road. And of course you get a little bit of a beeping sound when you get near any kind of an object here. And I'll give you an idea of what that's like. I'm going to back up just toward one of our vehicles here so you'll get an idea of what's happening. Let's say if you're in a parking lot and you're getting close to another car. You get a proximity beep which tells you this is about as far as you've got to go till you're in danger of striking that vehicle. So, And as you can see, the closer you get, the louder that gets and the more red this gets in, into the danger zone. So that just gives you an idea of how well this system works. Uh, and then of course once you start to go forward it'll stay on just a few more seconds and then flip over. Since we are at, at night uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip it onto the navigation system so you can see uh, where we're going. Uh, during the day it's got a dark background with the lit uh, roadways and at night it's all got the lit uh, background and the opposite. So. All right, this is a wonderfully handling vehicle, uh, and of course at this point in time it's very cold out right now, so uh, I've got the heated steering wheel on, it's very, very comfortable, and I've, I've got the seated, heated seat on as well, so that uh, it's making for a very, very uh, nice driving experience. Again, this vehicle is, uh, is good on, on uh, straightaways, cornering, uh, just about any kind of driving that you could possibly want to become involved in or, or, or partake of. So I typically uh, keep my hands at 10 and 2 position so that way you can shuffle the wheel where you need back and forth. And again, the handling capacities are excellent in this vehicle. Uh, cornering, going into turns, straightaways, and of course the braking is excellent as well. As we come up to a turn here, I'm going to go ahead and give you kind of an idea the braking capacity of the vehicle here as you start to slow in. Let's say you start to miss your turn and if you need to hit your brakes it's very smooth. That uh, that turn was very smooth and I was really pressing on the brakes so uh, it will bring you to a, an abrupt stop and a halt but uh, it's definitely not a neck breaker. Go ahead and take a turn here after the traffic is cleared and head down a straightaway and I'll give you an idea of the acceleration of this because it does again have a turbo. It's a 2.0 aluminum engine with turbo so let's let it do a little bit of its turbo work. Again very responsive, very quick. The turbo kicks in automatically and immediately so that you really get a surge. If you need to pass some traffic or you come into an emergency situation to where you need uh, swift acceleration, this vehicle definitely has it. I also uh, thought I would mention that uh, the rear view mirror has an automatic dimming device in it so that if you have a car behind you that has very bright headlights, it will automatically dim that rear view mirror for you so you don't become uh, temporarily blinded. This thing handles like a dream and it's very easy to drive. All of the instruments are easy to read and see. Everything within the cockpit here is very easily reached and of course everything that you need to do and all the, uh, all the information you're going to need is right here. It's also got the paddles for shifting on the, uh, on the vehicle as well. It is a six speed automatic so that that way you can go through the gears and utilize it almost as if it's a manual transmission because essentially it is. As you can see I drop it into second gear third gear, whatever you need to do, back down into first, into second. So the vehicle has got a lot of, uh, a lot of options to it. And in this particular case, uh, it's one of the easiest that I think I've, I've come across to be able to drive that's an SUV. You wouldn't know it's an SUV. Okay, well that was our test drive in the 2013 uh, Range Rover Evoque. Uh, I'm Bob Krebs, sales manager at Pure Pursuit Automotive. Uh, you can contact us at area code 816-659. 3027. Thanks a lot.